All right, so we got some hands-on exercises for you here. And I've called these, uh, these hands-on exercises, I've given them Jedi levels. And uh, I did that because recently, uh, I have some friends who work as engineers down at Disney and Barnabas and I got to go down to Disney. <laughs> and it was awesome and we hung out with them for a day and we just all coded in Go and talked about Go. And it was really pretty cool. Met the people who do the software for the rides and uh, all kinds of other interesting software projects at Disney. So I called these hands-on exercises. I gave them Jedi levels. You are now at Jedi level number one. And if you complete these hands-on exercises, you're gonna take that step to becoming a Jedi, a Jedi programmer. And we'll keep going up in our Jedi expertise, power skills as, we, uh, as you go through this course and continue to do the hands-on exercises. All joking aside, hands-on exercises are great for reinforcing everything you're learning. So cruise through these and do the hands-on exercises because that's what's really gonna uh, help you learn program. You actually got a program to learn programming. You can't learn, learn to ride a bike by watching videos of people riding bikes. <laughs> you gotta get out there on the bike. All right, so here's this first hands-on exercise and I'm gonna introduce the hands-on exercise in each of these videos and then in the same video, I'm gonna show you the solution. So we're actually, actually gonna code it up. That way, you can pause the video, go do the hands-on exercise, and then come back and see the solution. And that will be like double reinforcing the learning. You got exposed to the ideas in the videos where we talked about it. You got a hands-on exercise where you tried it yourself. And then you saw myself solve the hands-on exercise. So that, that's gonna help give you the skill set. I'm probably telling you stuff you know but uh, just wanna make sure that we are clear on it. And something that's always good to do when you start recording videos is to actually make sure that you are recording, which we are, so that's good. Cool, so hands-on exercise number one is, uh, did I say that you were gonna be recording these in Hungarian? I think I did say that. Yeah. That's gonna be awesome. I'm looking for people to record this Introduction to Go course in all languages. I don't know if I already said that in this course. When we create this course, it spans a, a vast period of time because it takes a lot of time to create a course, a couple of weeks, a couple of months. That's a vast period of time. <laughs> and, uh, and so I forget what I said. All right, hands-on exercise number one. Using the short declaration operator, assign these values to variables with the identifiers X, Y, and Z. So we're gonna assign these values, here are the values, to variables, and the variables are gonna have the identifiers X, Y, and Z. And uh, so that's the first part. Let's go do, that, go do that and we'll come back and do the second part. So pause the video right now and go do it yourself and then come back and watch the solution. Did you do it? Pause the video, go do it. All right, so now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go to the Golang Playground and uh, I think it said use the short declaration operator uh, and uh, X, Y, and Z. So uh, Golang Playground is where I wanna be. And we'll do X, Y, and Z. So X, Y, Z. And these are all gonna be colon equal. Colon equal, colon equal. And then we're gonna assign values to those and it's gonna be 42 James Bond and true. And then the next step of the hands-on exercise is going to be to uh, print the values stored in these variables using a single print statement and then also multiple print statements. So to use a single print statement, I'm gonna use from package fumpt uh, print line and uh, I'll just pass in x comma x comma y comma z, and then uh, so we're going to print them. Let's just make sure that works. X y z. So a uh, single print statement and multiple print statements. So here's multiple print statements. X y and z, and that's the solution to the first hands-on exercise. Barnabas is here. <laughs> Woo! Welcome, Barnabas. Great, great to have you here. Um, I got something for you. It's not a forever gift. It's just a loan while you're here. Oh. You've got the Michigan hat. <laughs> I got the Michigan hat. Now we're ready to code. Does yeah. it fit? It's not uh, the right size for you? It's tight. 
Um, you got all that brain in there. No, it's, it's tight. Uh, Later a bit. Yeah. But it's okay. All right. You look good. Thank you. I think we're ready to code. <laughs> Uh, Barnabas is going to be recording this course in Hungarian, so part of what we're doing is uh, just, you know, he's getting familiar with the material and, and getting comfortable being in front of the camera when you first start uh, recording. For some people, you know, probably a lot of people, uh, being in front of the camera is a little nerve-wracking. 